It's a lady in London here. Today I want to take you around on my self-guided walking tour in London's Chelsea. This tour will show you everything from the King's Road to the side streets, the pretty pastel houses, and all kinds of other things this part of London is known for. As always, the full route and map are on my blog, aladyinlondon.com, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel before you go. I look forward to showing you the walk. This walk starts at Sloan Square Station. It's on the district and circle lines of the tube, so it's easy to get here on the underground. When you exit the station, you'll be in Sloan Square. It's one of the most famous places in Chelsea and is lined with all kinds of shops and restaurants. If you want to, you can also take a detour down Pavilion Road. This pedestrianized street is a great place to shop or sit outside and have a coffee. Next, you'll come to some of the side streets Chelsea is famous for. From red brick buildings to colorful houses, there's a lot to explore here. Soon you'll be on the King's Road. This is the heart of Chelsea and one of the best places to shop, drink, and dine in the area. Just off the King's Road, Bywater Street is famous for its pastel houses. It's fun to walk down and take them in. After a short stint back on the King's Road, you'll take another detour off onto the side streets where you'll see a lot more colorful houses. You'll also reach some streets and squares with pretty brick buildings, more elegant homes, and lots of details that Chelsea is known for.
Soon you'll come to Chelsea Farmer's Market. This area has a lot of great restaurants and it's a perfect place to stop for lunch or a snack along the way. You'll be back on the King's Road for a bit after this, so if you want to do some shopping, this is a good time to do it. Soon you'll be back on some side streets that will take you down to the Thames. There are a lot of beautiful houses and details here, so make sure to take some time to stop and appreciate them. When you get to the Chelsea Embankment, you'll be right on the water. This is a great place to take in the river, soak up the scenery, and admire the beautiful buildings along the Thames. Eventually you'll turn up Swan Walk where you can admire the pretty pastel houses and explore some of the side streets. The Chelsea Physic Garden is here too, so if you like gardens it's a good place to stop if it's open. Soon you'll come to Royal Hospital Road and then veer off onto the side streets around it. There are lots of pretty things to take in here, so make sure to have your camera ready.
Once you're back on the King's Road, you'll come to Duke of York Square. There's a market here every Saturday, so it's worth planning a trip around it. But even if you're not here on a Saturday, there's a cafe in the square and lots to entertain. Your walk ends at the station, but you can explore the area or go to Belgravia if you want more. I hope you've enjoyed this self-guided walk in Chelsea and that you get a chance to do it in person yourself at some point. As always, there's more on my blog, aladyinlondon.com, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel before you go. Happy walking!